Hi everyone, in this video we'll be discussing the value of utilizing OpSWAT and F5 technologies together. This can tighten your security posture by both examining and vetting file contents. The idea is to stop malicious payloads regardless of how trustworthy the source is and when necessary to scrub files of risky content before delivery. We'll talk about the mechanics of how OpSWAT Meta Defender can work with F5 products such as Big IP, Nginx, and the F5 distributed cloud platform. So let's start by talking about the ICAP protocol. This is how the F5 and OpSWAT solutions communicate. ICAP is a command response protocol similar to HTTP built for performance and scalability. ICAP will pass messages like verdicts, whether a file is allowed or not, or even adjust payloads once files have been cleansed. So let's say we have F5 Big IP deployed in front of this server. F5 has web application firewall signatures including ones inspired by OWASP to search out and block items like SQL injection attacks that are buried into HTTP requests. However, scanning actual content of transactions looking for known malware as well as new zero-day attack payloads requires signatures designed from the ground up for pattern recognition. That's where OpSWAT comes in. OpSWAT Meta Defender is the centralized administration point and can be run on platforms such as Linux, Windows Server, or even as a Docker compatible container, which can be orchestrated as part of a Kubernetes cluster. Capabilities within solutions like Big IP, LTM, Big IP ASM, and Nginx can steer traffic towards the Meta Defender using the ICAP protocol. The traffic can then be inspected by the hosted AV engines and a message returned via ICAP Will signal the F5 products to allow the transaction to proceed if it was clear of threats or a block message is returned if a threat was found. A key feature OpSwap brings to the equation is the ability to offer a wide breadth of completely independent engines to analyze payloads. No one single antivirus engine can be expected to detect malicious content 100% of the time. To mitigate this, OpSwap applies numerous engines that are maintained with the most recent signature updates. This aggressive defense posture is important for zero day attacks where new vulnerabilities are targeted by nefarious individuals or organizations without the SOC necessarily on the lookout. This is also important in cloud where it is a shared responsibility model for security. The hyperscaler will focus on the security of its infrastructure to a certain degree while you are focusing on the security of your data. And there's even more flexibility with OpSWAT. If you configure the deep content disarm and reconstruction feature or CDR, the traffic can be adjusted. Maybe JavaScript from a Microsoft Word file is removed or active URLs in an Adobe Acrobat file will be removed if directing users to an untrusted URL category. So far we've covered a traditional deployment, but as everyone embraces network and security services as a SaaS model, F5 has introduced the F5 Distributed Cloud Platform, a global platform of interconnected high-speed security points of presence with the option to deploy nodes known as customer edges or CEs in customer premises, including public cloud locations. The same security features F5 is known for, including bot defense, L3.4 DDoS mitigation, API discovery, and conformance can be configured from the distributed cloud console. F5 distributed cloud also allows you to run container workloads. One such example is running Nginx as a container. And this opens the possibility to run the OpSWAT Nginx module and inspect traffic. The ability to perform both antivirus and content disarm and reconstruction or CDR are then integrated into this model of security deployment. So far, I've described a bit more of a simplified allow block configuration, but there may be teams who wanna go a bit deeper. For instance, suspicious content may be blocked en route, but the incidents response teams may want more detail on the threats. For these teams, OpSwap provides in-depth sandboxing solutions. As an example, maybe a PE32 executable has been flagged as risky and dropped. The immediate risk has been addressed. From there, teams can deconstruct the file using techniques like static code analysis to see the underlying threats baked into the application. To drill even deeper, the file can be detonated in a sandbox to fingerprint it and understand the breach techniques adversaries were attempting to exploit to penetrate the organization. 
OpSwat can also help with addressing SBOM security or software bill materials. SBOMs are called out by OWASP as a way to mitigate software supply chain risk as SBOMs provide accurate inventory of software components in source code and containers. This is important to know as there can be vulnerabilities within the software supply chain that can affect the application. And we do have more videos that cover OWASP security guidance, so you'll want to check those out after this one. Now, OpSwat's SBOM capabilities provide support for analysis of source code written in over 10 different programming languages, including JavaScript, Go, and PHP. In terms of third-party open source components recognized, the total exceeds 5 million. So I hope this explains why OpSwat and F5 are great partners in delivering effective security outcomes. We've seen how ICAP works to leverage OpSwat's ability to combine intelligence of multiple vulnerability engines to indicate to F5 whether or not to allow certain traffic. We also talked about how files can be cleaned to remove risk without completely blocking the file using CDR. CDR is a logical next step in security for organizations once they've established a practice around antivirus signatures and want to follow best practice guidance of bodies such as OWASP. And we've also talked about a traditional architecture as well as how this could work with something like the F5 distributed cloud platform. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Hit subscribe if you want to see more and otherwise we will see you on the next one.